Hey guys, this is Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be walking you through a bullion deal from start to finish, show you how much we bought things for, how much we sold things for, and how it can be easy money for you locally if you're wanting to start a coin business. Let's get this video started. Alrighty guys, so we're driving a few hundred miles today. We're gonna go pick up a bullion order from somebody that placed it with us locally. What we do normally is we go find a wholesaler that buys a large amount of bullion. We end up buying a certain order, locking it in with them, and then we ended up driving it to the customer and we offer them a better price than what you would find maybe on uh, you know, Monument Metals or what you would find on other bullion websites. And so you can actually make money in the little bit of margin that there is between the people that ship people bullion and the people that are wholesalers that don't necessarily have the connections or all the people that you do in your network to make money selling silver, gold, and coins also. So let's take you along for the ride in this beautiful Prius. So the question is, how does this opportunity exist? How are you able to, as a coin dealer, buy silver from a wholesaler and then take it to a client. So a client, most of the time, if they're buying a few thousand dollars, maybe $10,000, maybe a little bit more in silver or gold, they're gonna wanna work with you because they don't necessarily have the time to go find the wholesaler or find the quantity that they want. Um, a lot of dealers sometimes just don't hold a lot of bullion on hand. And so wholesalers end up creating a little bit more of a, an opportunity for you, especially when like I said, they just don't have as many connections locally to them or um, they want to work with you because they end up doing more volume that way. And so we have a client that uh, they probably both work. They're both near retirement age. They both want to invest in precious metals. And so what we do is we just say, hey, what our service is, is we're going to go buy the bullion. We're going to take it to you. We're going to test it in front of you. And then we're going to make that little bit of margin. And so let's talk right now about the money that we're going to make. How much money do you make on $5,000 in bullion? It's a question that most people don't answer and we're gonna answer it in this video for you. All right guys, so let's break down this bullion order for you so you know how much we make. So this is the customer order from last week when we were on our way to California. They gave us a call and they said we want 22 10 ounce silver bars made in US or Canada. So we gave our wholesaler a call and they said they would offer them to us at $218.30 per bar, which if you multiply that times 22 is $4,802.60. And so we have to take this and compare it to the competitor and we have to get a better price while also making a profit. How much does the competitor want? They want $231.14 per bar, which is around $5,085.08. So we are between those two numbers while also providing a service of delivering the bullion to the customer and making sure that they feel comfortable with the purchase. And so our price to the customer is $5,038 at $229 per bar. And so how much money do we make on $5,000 basically? We make $235.40. And people say, hey, that's not a lot. But the question is, how many times a day can you do this? So if you have one customer that is very happy and satisfied with the service that you provide, how many people can they call? How many people can they can call in their community? Or people can reach out to you and say, hey, I wanna do the same thing. Let's get an order together. And so that $235 right now might be $2,350 soon because you're doing this 10 times a day for many customers that will be happy with the service that you provide as a coin dealer and as a bullion dealer. So that's something for you to consider Let's go pick up this bullion. So a question also is how did we land this client? How did we find them? So we ended up posting coins on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and we had a family friend reach out to us and say, hey, we wanted to buy some bullion. That for us was a one-off, So that which means they only wanted one group of bullion for the time being, but they said, hey, we know a different person that is very interested in bullion, and they want to probably buy a bigger quantity over time. They just don't know who to trust. And so what we did was we took the order to our friends and then we also took an order to their friends. And so we ended up making two sales that one day. We made two customers very happy and now we're actually doing a second sale for that friend. And so 
what you can do is start to put yourself out there with your friends and family and people at your church possibly, people that you know that are well trusted and say, hey, this is a service that we provide. I know that you know you might not have a lot of faith in the dollar or faith in you know the stock market or other investments, but hey, maybe you get silver and gold is something that you should consider. Talk to somebody that's a professional in you know your financial planning and we can get it all organized. And so you can find people in your community by just talking to people that you know and also you know just laying it out for them in full making them fully comfortable what we do is we sigma test everything in front of them we answer any questions that they might have about things that we are experts at say with silver gold um, premiums just stuff and knowledge that we know about the space so you know get knowledgeable about what you want to be passionate about in precious metals or coins and that'll go a long way with customers and making them feel comfortable about you and the service that you provide that's just a little tidbit for me, and that's just something that helped us sell a lot of bullion this year. So hopefully it's helpful to you also. All right, guys, so it's the next day. So we bought the bullion, we picked it up, we took it home, we tested it overnight, and now we're on our way to sell the bullion, get our money back, and make the profit. So what are the three ways that bullion is paid for? So the first way is based on trust. So you're going to put your own money up to buy the bullion for someone and then you're gonna go get the money from them. Sometimes they back out, sometimes they don't pay, but if you know somebody and they're trusted, this works most of the time. The second way is that what a dealer told us is that they take a 20% non-refundable down payment for any bullion purchase. So say I sold uh, you know, one ounce silver rounds for $25 each, and I said, I need a 20% non-refundable down payment in case you back out, and so they have to pay me $5 a round just for me to place the order. And what that allows us to do is that allows us to have a purchase price of $20 in case they back out because say that you know they wanted to place that order, they paid the $5 down and then they didn't wanna pay the rest because they didn't have the money or whatever, you'd keep that money and then your new purchase price of that order would be $20 an ounce, which would allow you to go and reach out to the next customer and not be completely buried in that bullion. The third way, which is what most shops normally do, is that they want a wire up front for any order that they place. So say a guy comes into a shop and says, I want a million dollars in gold. Well, they're gonna say, okay, here's our wire information, send us a million dollars, and then we're gonna place that order for a million dollars in gold with the wholesaler. And what that allows them to do is that none of their money is ever tied up during the whole transaction. They make two or 3% on the whole deal and it ends up saving everybody else a lot of headaches, time, and money because the customer is reliable, you're reliable as a shop, and also the wholesaler is gonna ship that order for you. So those are all the three things that I would consider uh, when you're working on a bullion deal. Let's go deliver this bullion and pick up the cash. $5,038. So we dropped off the bullion, we made sure they were happy, we talked about what they might be concerned with, with investing in bullion and silver and gold. We are not financial advisors, but we like to talk with people, make sure they're comfortable with every single deal that they do with us, just so we have return business. And like we talked about earlier in this video, we want to do this so we can build a network locally and we can end up building you know, a good bullion client list so that there's people reaching out to us every single day that are looking for bullion and we can you know, 2x, 3x, 10x what we're doing right now. So if you guys are interested in any collectible coins, we do have a website, acousticcollectibles.com. Make sure to check it out. It's gonna be a link in our description. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on anything that we talked about today. If you have a question, let us know down below. We'll try to answer it for you. Subscribe if you're new. We're coming out with videos every single week and we want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.